In this video, we are doing a performance review of these. The Craft CTM Ultra 2. Ladies up and welcome to 40 runs. We are here in the Lee Valley. We are busting out my long run in the craft CTM Ultra 2. Hopefully you saw the initial review I did of the shoe, which I kind of went a bit nuts like usual about them. Um, I wanted to come back, we put a lot more miles in them, had them out here on these long runs and took them through all sorts of conditions like we got today. It's very muddy, very slippery out here. Um, it's one of the reasons why I wore them, I'll comment down in a sec. But yeah, so this is a performance review. I've done over 50 miles in the shoe. Uh, it's probably, yeah, I've got no idea actually, but it's definitely easy over 50 miles. And yeah, so let's get stuck in. Okay, stats and features very quickly. Put them up on the screen because I'm never going to remember them out here. Uh, all I can remember, 125 pounds, UD phone, which is, a massive stack of it, 40 mil in the heel. Super responsive, super durable, allegedly, but we did see some comments on the first video about durability of the shoe, especially in the upper, come on to that. Uh, the upper's uh, engineered mesh, slight update. There's no carbon plate in the shoe. Uh, this works purely as a big slab of UD foam, which is giving you the responsiveness. I would say it's, daily trainer but probably more towards that long run shoe that's where i've been using it uh, it's, it's not overly soft it's not overly firm you've got a massive tread on the outsole it's like a tank tracks on the outsole but i can't remember the name of it i think that's about it it's super windy on this section so i'll come back to you how are we getting on i'm gonna get out of this wind okay so we're out of the wind and this is the thing about filming these outside but it's real life people I hate being in the studio and filming I love being out here doing what we do which is running badly I mean good to go that time <laughs> so anyway the show again I've really enjoyed it it's made these long runs just not easy because they're not easy but it's just something effortless about them they're not overly firm they're not overly soft I feel like they're giving me something back, especially in those later miles um, where I'm running easy and I'm, I'm, you know, I am fatiguing. They just feel, they just feel beneath me. Might sound a bit weird, but some shoes they just die on you. I think the closest comparison I can give the shoe is the Skechers Max Row Five. I think that's probably the fairest uh, sort of comparison. You know, reasonable stack height. Fantastic uh, um, midsole. Skechers suffers from a, I would say a, not a poor outsole, but it does, it does get eaten up and spat out because of the exposed hyperburst. But this is a, I don't know, it's just, it's more of a forgiving shoe. I think that's probably the best way to describe it. The upper, I, as I said, I saw a lot of complaints on the comments from the first video about the upper. Uh, I've not had any issues yet. Okay, I'm only 50 miles in or whatever it is, but I've had no issues. They do gather up, but at the moment, they're fitting well. I don't think this is a shoe that I would necessarily train a lot in in summer marathon training. I think I'd probably go for something lighter, like Tobe's got on with the Pro. I'd probably do more work in those than these, but I think in my first rotation, where I am running easy, I will pick these out again. I think that's probably morning, mate. I think that's probably where it sits. So they're good for the long runs, but for those easy paces. A little bit of goal pace work, but nothing crazy. But I have to say, I'm really enjoying the shoe. Um, I'm not going to go and get the carbon plated version unless, you know, Craft send it to me, but I'm not going to bother spending my money on that. Uh, there's no real point for me because these are doing the job 
that I bought them for, which is, as I said, cruising along these longer miles. But I think that's it. Uh, if you're new to craft, I'll definitely try it out. If you're looking for a long run shoe, it's worth having a look over some of your usual brands. Okay, I think that's it. I'll catch you guys later.